Hi everyone, welcome back to Barbie Dolls of the Week. Today, in honor of um, powerful, strong women, I'm wearing my Wonder Woman t-shirt uh, from a few years back. And I do want to mention that this weekend the Barbie live-action movie has opened and everyone seems to be enjoying it. I'll see it at some point. I've heard enough about it that I'm intrigued, I'm interested. I mean, to be honest, I've never seen any other Barbie movie, but those were all animated ones. And um, I'm, I'm interested in seeing this one. By the way, I am hearing that uh, Ryan Gosling playing Ken is kind of stealing the show on a couple different reviews I saw that. And I mean, like, professional reviews. And then also, um, it's in general getting really good feedback. So, if you're going to see it this weekend, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, we'll see it a little later. Um, before I start on the dolls today, I want to show you two t-shirts. Uh, again, Strong Powerful Women. Uh, this shirt I've had literally since it came out in, I believe, 1990. So, this uh, is the... Madonna Blonde Ambition Tour, which I don't know if I actually went to the tour. Actually, I do know. I did not go, but somehow I got the shirt. So, um, in a picture you see on, if, if you're hopefully um, listening to my Confessions of Another Place and Time story series, which I wrapped up today, by the way, um, in one of the thumbnail pictures, I'm wearing this shirt. And so... I still have it. I wanted to show you all that. And on the back it does say Blonde, Blonde Ambition World Tour and 1990. So, Okay, and then the one other shirt, again, related to the Confessions of Another Place and Time stories, is this shirt that uh, my friend Robbie designed at the time, actually in 86. It's on here uh, for this mock rock event that they had at the school. But... This always reminded me of us. This would have been me, you know, sort of looks like me. And this was uh, Charlie, who I was interested in and became involved with. And this is Bobby and a, a girl he's involved with at the time. So I just, I don't know, when he designed that, that's just what it made me think of. It probably has nothing to do with us. Maybe that's a group he's familiar with that I'm not. But it just, especially this one here, just reminds me so much of myself. I mean, I had a mustache at the time, by the way. Here's a picture from back then, for those of you who didn't see it on my other story. I had shown it. So, when you look at those two, it just reminds me of me. But, of course, it could remind someone else of themselves who has a mustache. So, again, might not be anything to do with us, but I always thought that reminded me of the three of us with some woman involved. Okay, moving on to the dolls, which are the main focus of this, this particular video. Let me get this box up here. Um, I've got several dolls to show you today. And so I'm going to start with, I got these in a um, sale from, what was this from? I think this was just a Facebook group. So first of all, I want to show you these Star Trek dolls that Barbie did years ago. I'm not sure the exact year. I do have this set in the box. But um, this is the can, and he's got his little Star Trek emblem there. Star Trek. And he was a... You know, this is the Ken face and look that I think I like one of the... From the older ones, the best. Um, I don't know. I just thought he was a really cute one, and he looks good in that yellow shirt. Now, Barbie was your typical red uniform... Uh, she should have a rubber band here, but it's broken, so i got to put another one in there. So, you know, this, I think the person was selling these for like maybe $5 or something. It was a really good deal. So I just thought, I'm going to get them while I'm getting a couple other dolls from her. She was doing a deep sale, let me tell you, a deep discount sale. So here they are. And I, th I always thought these were really nice Barbie and Ken Star Trek characters. Um, obviously the short skirt that they tended to have on these for the ladies. And, you know, there wasn't anything specific about them compared to a certain character on that show. But it was just Barbie and Ken as, you know, people on the crew, if they were in the crew. So, um, you know, you can still find that set in the box very cheaply these days. I don't know why that never really did well. 
as far as value, but it just hasn't. I still like it, though. I think it's... And, you know, if you look at Barbie's face, by the way, and her hair is doing a lot of flyaways right now, so it's probably not the best quality hair. But let's just look at her face. And, you know, it's nice. It's a typical Barbie face from the time period. I mean, this was the 90s. I'm not sure exactly when, but I don't have that information in front of me. But, yeah, they did a nice job. Middle metal hoop earrings. That was when they were still doing metal hoop. And then I want to show you this doll, who I don't know who this is, and I'm hoping you all can help me figure out who this is, because she's such a pretty doll. I mean, I, I assume it's supposed to be Barbie, but I'm not sure. Oh, there's a little piece of fuzz in her hair. Let me get that out. Here's the back of her hair. So you see her hair is kind of like a strawberry blonde, maybe. It's not blonde blonde. And, of course, I don't think this is the normal or the usual dress she was wearing, but I don't know. Here she is, and let me fix that. Let's tilt it a little bit. So yeah, definitely I'm sure it's Barbie, but which Barbie is what I mean. Um, let me see if she has earrings. Just little gold post earrings, nothing distinctive. Same thing with the ring. And she does have one bent arm and one sort of straight arm. Here's a closer look at her face. Fuzzy hair that needs help. It is in a rubber band. but So yeah, I got this on a separate auction, I believe, um, through eBay. Some of these are from eBay. Some of these are from that particular lady that I was mentioning. So this was part of the eBay auction. So I just really like her face, and I think her hair is pretty too. I mean, it's a mess right now, but it's pretty. Let me put that down. Okay. Okay, and then two more dolls. The next one, you're definitely going to recognize, I'm sure, most of you. Empress Sissy. Now, um, I think this is something to do with the Austrian, the, the Austrian people or that country. I just don't remember the story. But if anybody can help enlighten us, that would be great in the comments. Uh, but yeah, this is Empress Sissy doll. And some... Some people would call this Barbie. I don't even know. Maybe Mattel did. I would not call something like this Empress Sissy Barbie. I would say, like I just did, Empress Sissy Doll, because she's not really Barbie. She doesn't look like Barbie. She's, she's kind of like the Inspired Women series of today. They're not Barbie as Rosa Parks. Barbie as, you know, Billie Jean King or whoever. Um, they're the actual people, and I think that's what she's supposed to be, too. Very ornate dress and, you know, jewels on here, uh, fake jewels. And look at that necklace. I mean, that's beautiful. Now, normally I'm not into gold jewelry that much, but for her it, it's appropriate and it looks good. She's got that little fan that's also cute and, you know, a nice big dress. In this case, I think it works. Um, I still don't love big hoop dresses, but it works for her. And I'm sure it's realistic for the time. I'm, I'm not sure what time she's from, but I assume pretty far back. Look at her hair, by the way. Now, I will say this about this doll. I've had this doll, I believe, two other times. I've sold her every time. And I don't know if I'm going to sell this one or keep it yet. I may keep it for the time being, and then down the road, most of the dolls are going to get sold. So, we'll see. But yeah, what do you all think of this one? Do, you, do do any of you have this doll? Let me know in the comments. She is not a very smiley doll or, you know, she doesn't look particularly happy, but she just looks okay. So that's just probably how, you know, in paintings and pictures from back then, people weren't like doing big smiles or goofy smiles or any kind of smiles. They tended to just be more serious looking, somber, so... And then today, um, I also have to show you this very popular doll that was reason... This is honestly the main reason I got this set of, I think it was five dolls or four dolls that um, I've shown you. The one with the strawberry blonde hair, not Empress Sissy. Empress Sissy was with the Star Trek and one or two others I've already shown you with from the lady on Facebook. 
But this is Hollywood hair Teresa. And she is just so sought after these days. And really appreciated. Now, I've got... I need to put this box down for a minute. So I can hold her better. I've got... Uh, I've had her before. And sold her. And I don't know. Again, I probably will sell this doll. Don't know when, but... Um, She's still got her earrings. I do have, by the way, I believe I do, Hollywood hair Barbie up there somewhere. Um, or at least I did. I don't see it right now. But um, sometimes I just, you know, I have so many dolls, I don't keep them all, obviously. And I sell the dolls that are selling well sometimes when I'm not that attached to them, which I'm not that attached to these dolls. So she's nice. I like her, and I love the orange, by the way. I like the little hair pieces, but, or I mean decorations, but, um, you know, I'd rather her go to someone who really likes the style more than I do. And it says Hollywood on her skirt. She's got the underskirt here, underlay or whatever that is. And then her top is also the orange and this little vest that has uh, the word Hollywood and stars, just like the skirt. So the vest matches this little skirt top top of the skirt here's her face and her long hair i don't think this has been cut it's pretty much down to her you know right here on her legs um, it obviously could be cleaned up oil washed etc and i may do that before i do if i do sell her before i sell her so these two we're in the same lot. They could definitely use that. And just to finish up on the dolls from that lot, I want to go ahead and show you these other two real quick. These are just average dolls. I don't know who or anything. Um, and probably not in the dress that they came in. So this is a typical blonde Barbie from whatever time period. This might even be 2000s. I'm not sure. <clears throat> she had a ring, but it's missing because you can still see the the hole there. She does still have her earrings, so I assume the ring kind of looked like that. Pretty face, but like I said, very average. Uh, nice bee here on her dress. It is a long dress, by the way, and I like the color. It's pretty. It's a pretty dress. So there goes that box again. I can't get that. It's a big box, and I can't get it to stay up on the shelf that I had it on. So now it knocked off another doll off the other shelf. Oh boy, her hair is a mess. <clears throat> and excuse my voice today, by the way, I should have said that earlier. I'm having a little issue with that today. Um, scraggly sounding, just like her hair. So definitely something needs done with her hair. But, you know, I only got these two because they were with the other two that I liked better. But she's pretty, but nothing stunning, you know. Dress is so-so. She's straight armed, so she might have been a beach doll. Here's the necklace. That might... Does anybody know what doll this is? It looks like a heart, a green heart, actually. You can't tell when it's sideways, but when it's flat, that is what it looks like. I can't get it to stay flat, though. So if anybody knows what doll this is, please let me know. I just always like to know, especially if I go to try to sell it. So, very short hair. Again, I don't know if it was cut or like this. She does have little bangs. So, that's her. So, um, from the dolls today, really the three that I liked the most, of course, Hollywood hair, Teresa. And this doll, Strawberry Blonde Barbie. And Empress Sissy. I think she's just gorgeous. And her hair, her even not smiley face, by the way, not all dolls need to be smiling, and I don't think, to make them pretty. And of course, this outfit, the fan, everything, the hair. Um, and I think this is the way the hair was. It could have been connected or something, but I'm not sure. And then, just one more look at the Star Trek Barbie and Ken. Um, I still think they're a great set, but yeah, they don't sell for a lot, so. 
Okay, everyone, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great week. Stay cool, because it's supposed to get really warm around here again, starting in about two days. So try to stay cool, and I'll talk to you next time on Barbie Dolls of the Week. Bye.